Howdy guys. I always get asked the question, when is it okay to drive? And what people are referring to is, you know, you got a cold start, we understand it's not good to move a diesel and, you know, let it warm up, but at what point is it okay to drive? And this is what my answer is, and it's solely based off a little research I did years ago. When does the oil, uh, oil package, or the oil additives are, at, you know, for the most part active and, and working? And the number comes across often is 100. 100 is the number that it comes across. So, cooling off and warming up your engine are hand in hand. And a lot of times, cooling off is a bigger issue for a lot of people than it is warming up. So, I'll cover both here. When you start your diesel, like any engine, let it run for a short amount of time. My thing is 30 seconds to a minute if it's a gasoline engine and then I will let it roll out, roll out of my neighborhood, you know, if I'm in a hurry. Now, if I have time, I'd like to see that 100. That's on a gasoline engine. Now, on a diesel engine, especially when you're hooked up to a trailer, guys, there's two things I want to underline. Make sure you're getting at least 100 out of the motor oil. Obviously, the coolant's gonna be well above that, but if you could get at least 100 out of the motor oil, you should be at rest. But by no means does it mean you get in your vehicle and you goose it. You put that hammer down. You put your foot down and throw. I don't know what other format I can explain this to you. Let it roll out. A lot of people forget that the differentials are not warmed up. Transfer cases are not warmed up. Well, maybe a little bit of heat passed from the engine to the tranny, the tranny onto the transfer case. But a lot of metals and oils are not warmed up. So when you start your truck in the morning, let it idle on a diesel especially if you're hooked up at least to 100 degrees motor oil or close to 100 degrees and then slowly roll out okay now on a gasoline engine same thing gasoline engines are quite a bit different in my books especially you know in my world i don't tow anything with gasoline so i let it run for 30 seconds to a minute and then i roll out what i mean by roll out is i'll put it in reverse get out of my driveway and put it in drive and pretty much let it coast let it idle its way and if i have to give it throttle minimal throttle until i get the main road get that oil going at least at some degree to some extent in the differentials and rest of the world <laughs> world the car world the, the system is what i'm trying to say in the automobile so we got the warm up the cool off super important man right, turn off this steering wheel heater the cool off is just as important guys um if not more important the reason i underline more important because a lot of people miss it so you're pulling down the interstate especially the turbocharged engines you're pulling you're towing let's just stick to trucks for now you're towing something extremely important even if you're not towing that turbocharger is working on the interstate do not come to a stop a rest area and shut your engine down do not do that you're killing first and foremost the turbo bearings and then the rest of it right you're frying your oil and all that in the turbo but it all comes down to the turbo being piping hot now a rule of thumb when you're driving completely empty like you're just coasting on the interstate and it's not 100 120 outside just average temperature anywhere from 50 to, to 75 right not miles an hour temperature ambient temperature being outside normal temps 40 to 70 whatever you guys get it i would come to a rest stop let it idle for a minute and then i'll shut it off that is just the pickup itself now if i was towing i'd do everything to just lock my truck and let it idle so two things are being accomplished here your your turbo is being cooled off specifically the a lot of people are jumping to egt's no the bearings the turbo bearings the, the just the turbo overall itself is being cooled off the bearings are being cooled off the oil is pulling the heat out of the bearings you, you want that flow don't shut your engine off as soon as you shut your engine off you're you you got piping hot bearings at a standstill and oil around it you're cooking ruining your bearings and you're cooking that oil to those bearings this is my definition this is the way i see it and it works for me i'm sharing it with you that's the point of this whole youtube channel me sharing my journey with you guys in the truck world i know some of you guys are younger some guys are older it's a great community and i appreciate all your support but this is what i know and it works for me so a quick little recap 
on startup, I like to see at least 100 on the motor oil when I'm towing. And then I take it very easy. Um, I don't impede traffic. I don't piss people off on the roads, but I, I ain't goosing it by no means, you know. Once I get everything fully warm, uh, I, st I slowly get into it. That's all I'm saying. Super important not to forget the rest of the oils in the engine are not piping hot. Like if you let your truck run for half an hour and it's fully warmed, your differentials are not. Um, cool off a minute if you're just a pickup and no, not towing anything. And if you're towing something, I do everything I can to keep it running. If I can't keep it running, um, I want to see at least three, four, even five minutes. It really depends on the situation and how hot and how hard I've been towing. Just because your coolant and oil temps are okay when you're pulling into that rest area does not mean they're not combating with uh, heat, you know? It's just these cooling systems are so phenomenal. And if you don't believe me, guys, by the way, if you don't believe me, shut your truck off. Come back after your rest stop, start your truck and glue your eyes to that screen that temperature screen for about 20 seconds see what happens to those temps do yourself a favor if you don't believe me your oil is going to be way up your coolant's going to be a little bit up but your oil temp's going to just keep climbing for the next 20 seconds as you start your truck that's what i've seen i've experienced numerous times and yeah that's the best way you can see for your setup how much time you need so for example you pulled in you're towing you gave it five minutes you shut it off remember that digits you shut off that oil at let's just say this one's at 185 go do your thing come back start the truck and watch this temp if it significantly grows you did not cool off that engine enough just a short little thing you are going to have a little bit what I'm saying a little bit like I shut off at 185 and then I start it it goes 186 189 that's acceptable 190 it's okay 195 200 yeah, i didn't cool it off enough just a little rule of thumb this gives you enough info for you to determine what you did right or wrong anyways boys that's it as always may the lord bless you and may almighty find day ciao bye